What is going on, gamers? Um, I've been playing Hollow Halls for, I don't know, five or six hours now, and I've got a couple tips here, uh, about seven or eight of them. <clears throat> kind of a non really non traditional tip video kind of way uh, that will help you out with what you're doing. Um, first thing first, I respect from Archer back to Mage, for those of you that uh, will probably discover that. Uh, just because I want to try out Mage on the level 25 place. Struggled a lot earlier with the Archer in the level 25 area. But uh, to get on with a couple of the tips here, um, make sure you break absolutely everything. Um, if you, you know, if you want all the materials, like there's, there's an absolute ton of materials in here and you're going to need an absolute ton of it, especially when it comes to the ectoplasmic frag, ectoplasm fragments here, you're going to need like literally 5 million of these things. So anytime you see them in bone piles on the ground, or you just want to break things, etc., definitely farm them. So the first big tip here is this is a barrier door. It's a door that's kind of walked behind um, these runes here. You can see this floating rune in the sky. And on every barrier, you're gonna see kind of a hash mark, right? Not a Roman numeral per se, but just like hash marks, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that is gonna tell you when you come into a room where like how many runes you need to find in order to unlock this barrier wall. Uh, so we've got one right here. And we pick up that one, you can see that one hash mark goes away and there's still one remaining, right? So we just have to find that one, which uh, for this place is actually right up here. And yeah, um, you know, you'll come to rooms and stuff that require like 10 barriers for you to find. So uh, that kind of helps you keep track of things, helps you, you know, know how many more you need to find to unlock the door, etc. So yeah, big tip there. Another thing is keep a real close eye out for secret rooms and secret areas because there's quite a bit and you're going to find, uh, you know, some pretty awesome loot and loot chests and things behind these. Uh, this here is just in the first hollow hall. You'll notice the area pretty easily. Walk past this gate right here and before you go down your first set of stairs inside of here, there's this rubble wall. Um, and you can come look around in here, see if they got, if we got anything. Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and freaking break as much stuff as we can. Mm, probably good idea to bring like a wisp of light down here so you can actually see. And in this particular room here, you can see that, uh, digging out this pile of rubble, there's a silver chest under here. Now this will be only probably beneficial for, you know, like level 10 players and stuff, obviously, but uh, this kind of stuff is hidden throughout all of these hollows. And uh, if you're mining through and you end up hitting dirt, which is this kind of like, I don't know, hard to, hard to explain, like white snow covered dirt wall, then there's nothing else back there. But yeah, cool little, cool little uh, hide and seek type of things, hidden doors everywhere as well. I'll see if I can uh, find one in this video to show you. Now, almost any time you make it to a checkpoint here like this, there's going to be a repair station. Um, of course, there wouldn't be the time that I, uh, you know, say something about it. <laughs> but most of the time, there's a repair anvil uh, from what I've seen at these uh, little, little save spots that you can, you know, repair your tools because they will break. So make sure you keep track of that. Don't end up with dead or broken tools. Also, another really cool tip that doesn't exactly have to do with hollow halls, but uh, did come with this update, and you guys are going to shit when you hear this, is the fact that we can now grow the resin trees. You know, the trees that we go farm, the yellow and red trees for resin, uh, and resin is such a pain in the butt to get. Yep. I had a developer in my chat that was like, I was bitching about resin, and, and they said, well, you can grow the resin tree now. So yeah, that's freaking huge. Uh, yeah, because I was complaining about how much all the new all the new lamps cost so much resin. So <laughs> now we could craft resin, freaking dope. All right, so here's the ectoplasm in the ground. You're going to want to get absolutely every square inch of this stuff, uh, which is kind of the main reason that I came into this level 10 place again, was just to come get more of this stuff because I need a lot of it. Mm, you need it to craft spells, potions, food. You get some pretty crazy food, dude, that does uh, mega damage increases and things. Uh, for the later for the later dungeons. I'm not sure if there's one after the uh, what's this uh, the Kindle waste. Oh, that's another thing too. another tip. Um, 
Once you pass the first one, you're gonna unlock you're gonna unlock this rebel wood bone key. You only have to craft one. One key will unlock everything that you need the key for in the rebel wood dungeon. Same as the nomad, same as the Kindle waste. When I very first crafted this, I crafted ten of them, and they're like a hundred um, freaking little green stuff a piece, ectoplasm a piece. They're like a hundred a piece, dude. And I crafted like like six or seven of them or something. I only I found out I only need one. They're like an infinite use. Uh, the keys are so. Definitely only craft one of those. Don't waste your time and resources like I did. Yeah, so wisps wisps of light are actually a huge help. And in the second dungeon, I believe, you find quite a bit of them in there. Uh, but I believe in the first one, the level 10 dungeon, you don't you don't find very many. So if you've got some, bring them with you. Uh, but you know, like I said, I don't I don't uh, I don't have any because I use them all. <laughs> But definitely uh, bring those because those will help you find the secret rooms and stuff a whole lot easier. All right, this uh, this green stuff, this green goo down here, you can actually mine this stuff. And I highly suggest you collect a bunch of this as well. Uh, this will give you toxic slime, uh, which you can then use in the new crafting table to help you make all kinds of yummy, yummy things. So definitely get you a good chunk of this stuff before you get out of here as well. And when you come to this uh, room in the first hollow hall, you'll see these two uh, flames, one on that side and one on this side. Uh, this one here, you can actually sneak around behind it and fall down, and there's a nice little silver chest down here waiting for you uh, with a sacrilegious steel sword in it. Check this sword out. Heck yeah. Pretty sweet sword. A little hiding place there for you. All right, here we go. Here's the next save point, and there is a uh, repair station right here. That's what they look like. Make sure you freaking hit it up if and you need to all right folks that pretty much sums it up um two more final tips here is skeleton spawners you're gonna f you're gonna start seeing them in the second hollow halls third and fourth and so on you won't see them in the very first one but you they just look like a like almost like an urn cage make sure you destroy them or they will continue to spawn and there's ones for regular skeletons, and then there's ones for like the freaking heavier skeletons. That really sucks. But make sure you destroy them. Also, arrows do no damage to those spawners. Uh, lastly, bone arrows that you get while you're in the hollow halls do a ton of damage to everything in the hollow halls. So if you are using an archer build, definitely make sure that you're using the arrows as well as um, actually, I don't know if the bone channel does. I haven't got a chance to try it out yet, so I don't know if the bone channel does yet or not. But this is my this is my loot haul from running through hall, the first hollow halls here. 173 ectoplasm fragments is all that's available in this one. The second one obviously has a whole lot more stuff. But uh, hopefully these tips have helped you out a little bit. Kind of a short video, uh, crash course on this stuff. Everything I've learned over the last couple hours, but. Hopefully you guys find some sort of value in this and please do me a favor, hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you like this video and like Enshrouded and like other in survival games. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out.